Hey guys, today we're going to discuss restricting and fetching data. Under this, our topic will be selection and projection using where clause. You know guys, most of the time in interviews, this question has been asked that what is the difference in selection and projection? And according to me, there are mainly three features of SQL, selection, projection, and joining. Out of these three features, I'm going to discuss selection and projection today. Yes, guys, we're going to discuss where clause today, which is our third clause and optional clause. I'm going to let you know why we use it, how we use it and where we can use it. So let's get started with selection and projection. Well, guys, I hope you have practiced select and from clause. You know, in select clause, we write the name of column which we want to see. And in from clause, we write the name of table whose column we want to see. So when we write simple select statement, this thing is called projection. Because suppose if I'm writing select name from table name, I'm not saying I want to see particular name. I'm saying I want to see all names. So all names under name column will be displayed in front of you with simple select command. I will explain you with the help of this example. Suppose I have one table EMP with two columns name and salary. And in query, I'm saying, okay, I want to see name of employees. Select name from table name. So all names under name column will be displayed in front of you. And this concept is called projection because you are projecting on whole column. Whereas selection means that I don't want to view all columns means I want to see particular column according to my condition. For example, suppose I want to see name of employee whose salary is 22,000. In my table, Thomas is the only employee whose salary is 22,000. Here, I'm restricting my selection. I'm just saying I don't want to see all names. I want to see selective name according to my condition. My condition is salary should be 22,000. So whosoever salary is 22,000, only that name will be displayed. So I'm going to repeat it again. In case of projection, whole column will be projected without any condition. Whereas in case of selection, it will focus on particular row with condition. I'll give you a very layman example to understand selection and projection. Here in Excel sheet, I think we all are familiar with Excel sheet. If I place my mouse on the header of column, whole column will get projected. This is projection. But if I'm selecting a particular row, with condition, that is selection. I hope this example has really helped you to understand the concept of selection and projection. So now let's move forward and see how we implement with the help of query. For projection, we already know when we write simple select command, all column will be projected. Like suppose I want to see name of employee, so I will write select name of column which I want to see from name of table whose column is in select clause. Whereas in case of selection, you will use where clause. So in this case, first you will write simple select command and then you will use where clause because you want to restrict your selection. So you will write where salary is equal to 22,000. So this is what selection is. And now we'll understand how where clause will work. So where clause is used to implement condition, which is also known as selection. Syntax of where clause is where name of the column on which you want to implement condition, then your operator, and then value. So in short, where salary is equal to 22,000. So with this, we have covered where clause. Now let's see practically how it will work. So here I am in Scott schema. I will describe you one table on which I will implement projection and selection. So I will write describe EMP with the help of describe command. You can see column as well as data type of that table. I'll display you data in EMP table. So let's see, um, select ename from EMP. So it displayed you all name under ename column. These are 14 rows. You might be confused why ename is coming two times. So guys, this is SQL's way to display data. SQL has displayed data in two pages. For first page also, heading ename will be there. For second page also, heading ename will be there. After Adams, James will be the next value. Only heading is repeated again because it's a next page for SQL. So with this command, select ename from EMP. I have projected whole column. So all names under ename column has been displayed. Now let's implement selection with the help of where clause. So here I will write same command select ename from EMP where third clause any condition like salary is equal to 800 
only one row has been displayed so in case of selection i am restricting my data that i want to see only particular data according to my condition so my condition was salary should be 800 and that name has been displayed so guys that was selection and projection and we also practice how we can use where clause so with that note keep on practicing and implementing it i'll see you in my next video thanks for now